Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team, and today I'm here to talk about could the market meltdown happen again? Hi, I'm Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching my video blog. Today I'm here to talk about the question that I get asked a lot by buyers and sellers alike, which is could the market meltdown happen again? Now, Obviously in 2007 we had a huge market meltdown happen and a lot of that was created by really bad loans, to put it bluntly. So there were a lot of loans that, with, that were available out there because the market was deregulated and people got into loans that they really shouldn't have. Negative amortization loans, stated income loans, all of those types of loans existed for a reason, but unfortunately many people uh, chose them who shouldn't have gotten them. Um, and what happened then was it allowed a lot of people to buy with no money down and really almost anybody could get a mortgage. Um, I even ran across a postal worker who got a mortgage for zero down stated income and they were able to buy up to $850,000 which I'm really glad that they didn't end up buying because they would have had to go to foreclosure shortly after they purchased by not being able to keep up with their payments. So this today's market is very different and what we're seeing is that a lot more people are putting a lot more money down. In fact, there's still a lot of cash buyers who are looking to buy homes right now as well. So we are definitely back up towards the 2006 prices, which was the height of the market here in the Long Beach area. However, there's a lot less availability for different financing options. Now what's starting to change is that we are starting to see more of those creative programs come back into being. However, um, we just did a stated income loan for one of my clients and they had to put 30% down. So obviously they have a lot more skin in the game than they used to have in the past. Now, if the interest rates continue to rise, obviously that's going to have a downward effect on the prices because less people will be able to afford the same house payment. So for example, if your purchase price, uh, if your interest rate was 6% and your purchase price would have to come down 20% to basically have the same payment for a 4% interest rate. So you can see how significant of an impact that interest rate has on a buyer. So it will be interesting to see what happens with the interest rates and the deregulation because there's lots of talk about deregulation of the mortgage industry. Um, but right now what we're seeing is continued high demand, rising prices, and very low inventory. So for the foreseeable future right now, we are continuing to see prices rise. So if you're thinking about buying a place, it's still a good time to lock in that low interest rate. Now, if you're talking about speculating and um, doing some more higher risk things or buying for the short term, it may or may not be a good decision for you. You have to make that choice for yourself based on the information and knowledge about your situation. But long term, if you're planning on buying real estate and holding on to it long term, it's always a good time to buy. You can always pay that property off and continue to hold on to it as a rental property if you move into something else or if you're going to live there, obviously you got to live somewhere. If you have any other questions about this, I'm happy to answer them. My number is 562-316-2915 or you can reach me at melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to short forward and share this with your friends.